Good morning to all of you. In this video, I explain about the how to install Turbo C++ in your system. First of all, in the Google, you have type the Turbo C++. You have to go with the first link here. Download Turbo C++ for Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10. Whenever you click on this one, you can get the a window like this one. In this window, there is an option which is called as a Download Turbo C++. Click on this button. Whenever you click on this button, then your download will be started. This is the Turbo C 3.2. This is the zip file. For downloading, it is taking the approximately 2 minutes time. Its size is 7 MB. The Turbo C compiler main to do is the, by using this compiler, we can do the C as well as the C++ programs. Right. In this one, we have to go with this one Turbo C 3.2. Here you are hanging the setup.exe go with this one don't go with the setup.ini you have to go with the setup.exe click on this one preparing to install here you have to type the you have to press the next and we have to accept the document here this is the license document next install Click on yes. Finish. After that, now we have to go with this one. You have to go with the search button, and here you have to type the Turbo C++. Turbo C++. Open. Here you have to click on the start turbo C++. If you want to create the any new file, you have to go with the option altf new. Here we have typed the program. Here I am typing a simple program hash into stdio.h. stdio stands for standard input output header file. After that void main. Why it stands for no value. Every C program must contain one main function. Next up, that I wrote the CLR SCR. CLR SCR is the clear the screen. CLR means clear. SCR stands for screen. After that, next I wrote the printf hello world. The main duty of the printf function is to display the data on the screen. Now we have to save the program. For saving the program, you have to go with the Alt F. Alt F. There is a save option or directly you can press the F2 button. And here we have to give the file name. Here I am giving the file name as the this is my first program, first dot C. After that, we have to do the compilation. Alt F9 for the compilation. The compilation main to do is to convert the dot C code into the object file. Whenever there are no errors and warnings, the object file has been created. After that, execution, control F9. The output will be displayed here. Hello world. 
if you want to see your programs you have press the f3 you can see the all of your projects here all of your files